Intercession of the saints is a doctrine held by the Eastern Orthodox, Oriental Orthodox and Roman Catholic Churches. The practice of praying through saints can be found in Christian writings from the 3rd century onwards. The 4th century Apostles' Creed states belief in the communion of saints, which certain Christian churches interpret as supporting the intercession of saints. As in Christianity, this practice is controversial in Judaism and Islam. Biblical basis <inaudible> Intercession of the dead for the living Advocates of the doctrine say that Jesus' parable of the rich man and Lazarus in Luke 16 verses 19–31 indicates the ability of the dead to pray for the living. The intercession of the dead for the living is shown in 2 Maccabees 15:14–17, an intercession on behalf of Israel of the late high priest Onias III, plus that of Jeremiah, the prophet who died almost 400 years earlier. And Onias spoke, saying, "This is a man who loves the brethren and prays much for the people and the holy city." Jeremiah, the prophet of God. Topic: <laughs> Intercession of the living for the living. According to the Epistle to the Romans the living can intercede by the living. Now I Paul, beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake, and for the love of the Spirit, that ye strive together with me in your prayers to God for me." Romans 15 verse 30 Mary intercedes on behalf of the married at the wedding at Cana and obtained that Jesus did his first miracle. On the third day a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine, woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. John 2 verses 1 5 When God was displeased by the four men who had invented Patriarch Job what he had done, God said to them, my servant Job will pray for you, and I will accept his prayer and not deal with you according to your folly. Job chapter 42 verse 8 Moses says to God, Forgive the sin of these people, just as you have pardoned them from the time they left Egypt until now. Quote, the Lord replied, I have forgiven them, as you asked. Numbers chapter 14 verses 19 to 20 The elders of the church can intercede for the sick people. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well, the Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven." James 5 verses 14–15 <laughs> Intercession of the living for the dead Intercession of the living for the dead is seen in 2 Timothy 1 verses 16–18. The Lord give mercy unto the house of one Cyphorus, for he oft refreshed me, and was not ashamed of my chain, but, when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently, and found me. The Lord grant unto him that he may find mercy of the Lord in that day, and in how many things he ministered unto me at Ephesus, thou knowest very well. On the basis of Christ's intercession for believers, who is present at the right hand of God Romans 8 verse 34, Hebrews 7 verse 25, it is argued by extension that other people who have died but are alive in Christ may be able to intercede on behalf of the petitioner John 11 verse 25, Romans 8 verses 38–39 Aquinas quotes Revelation 8 verse 4 and the smoke of the incense of the prayers of the saints ascended up before God from the hand of the angel." Both those for and against the intercession of saints quote Job 5 verse 1. <laughs> Catholic and Orthodox views Roman Catholic Church doctrine supports intercessory prayer to saints. Intercessory prayer to saints also plays an important role in the Eastern Orthodox and Oriental Orthodox churches. Also some Anglo-Catholics believe in saintly intercession. This practice is an application of the Catholic doctrine of the communion of saints. It is understood that some of the early basis for this was the belief that martyrs passed immediately into the presence of God, and could obtain graces and blessings for others. 
A further reinforcement was derived from the cult of the angels which, while pre-Christian in its origin, was heartily embraced by the faithful of the sub-apostolic age, according to Saint Jerome. If the apostles and martyrs, while still in the body, can pray for others, at a time when they must still be anxious for themselves, how much more after their crowns, victories, and triumphs are won? The Catholic doctrine of intercession and invocation is set forth by the Council of Trent, which teaches that. the saints who reign together with Christ offer up their own prayers to God for men. It is good and useful suppliantly to invoke them, and to have recourse to their prayers, aid, and help for obtaining benefits from God, through His Son Jesus Christ our Lord, who alone is our Redeemer and Saviour." Intercessory prayer to saintly persons who have not yet been canonized is also practiced, and evidence of miracles produced as a result of such prayer is very commonly produced during the formal process of beatification and canonization. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, 956 The intercession of the saints. Being more closely united to Christ, those who dwell in heaven fix the whole church more firmly in holiness. They do not cease to intercede with the Father for us, as they proffer the merits which they acquired on earth through the one mediator between God and men, Christ Jesus. So by their fraternal concern is our weakness greatly helped. Protestant views With the exception of a few early Protestant churches, most modern Protestant churches strongly reject the intercession of the dead for the living, but they are in favor of the intercession of the living for the living according to Romans 15 verse 40. Anglican views The first Anglican Articles of Faith, the Ten Articles 1536, defended the practice of praying to saints, while the King's Book, the official statement of religion produced in 1543, devotes an entire section to the importance of the Ave Maria Hail Mary prayer. However, the 39 Articles 1563 condemn the «invocation of saints» as a fond thing, vainly invented, and grounded upon no warranty of Scripture, but rather repugnant to the Word of God. Article 22. Theologians within the Anglican Communion make a clear distinction between a «Romish» doctrine concerning the invocation of saints and what they view as the «Patristic» doctrine of intercession of the saints, permitting the latter, but forbidding the former. The Bishop William Forbes termed the Anglican practice advocation of the saints, meaning, «asking for the saints to pray with them and on their behalf, not praying to them». Lutheran views The Lutheran confessions approve honoring the saints by thanking God for examples of His mercy, by using the saints as examples for strengthening the believer's faith, and by imitating their faith and other virtues. However, they strongly reject invoking or asking help of saints. The Augsburg Confession emphasizes that Christ is the only mediator between God and man, and that he is the one to address prayers to. Nevertheless, within the Apology to the Augsburg Confession, Article 21, the intercession of the saints is assumed, though direct invocation is condemned. Topic: Reformed views. Like the Lutheran churches, the Calvinist and other reformed churches understand the communion of saints mentioned in the Apostles' Creed to comprise all believers, the living as well as the dead. Invocation of saints is considered to be a transgression of the First Commandment. <inaudible> <inaudible> Methodist views The Methodist Articles of Religion from 1784, in their 14, article, reject the invocation of the saints unanimously with the Anglican 39 Articles as a fond thing vainly invented, and grounded upon no warranty of Scripture, but rather repugnant to the Word of God." <laughs> Parallels in other religions <laughs> <laughs> Judaism There is some evidence of a Jewish belief in intercession, both in the form of the paternal blessings passed down from Abraham to his children, and two Maccabees, where Judas Maccabeus sees the dead Onias and Jeremiah giving blessing to the Jewish army. 
In ancient Judaism, it was also popular to pray for intercession from Michael in spite of the rabbinical prohibition against appealing to angels as intermediaries between God and his people. There were two prayers written beseeching him as the Prince of Mercy to intercede in favor of Israel, one composed by Eliezer ha Khalir, and the other by Judah ben Samuel he Hasid. Those who oppose this practice feel that to God alone may prayers be offered. In modern times, one of the greatest divisions in Jewish theology is over the issue of whether one can beseech the help of a Zadok, an extremely righteous individual. The main conflict is over a practice of beseeching a Zadok who has already died to make intercession before the Almighty. This practice is common mainly among Chassidic Jews, but also found in varying degrees among other usually Charity communities. Its strongest opposition is found largely among sectors of modern Orthodox Judaism, Dor Dame and Talmud Harambam, and among aspects of the Litvish Charity community. Those who oppose this practice usually do so over the problem of idolatry, as Jewish law strictly prohibits making use of a mediator or agent between oneself and the Almighty. The perspectives of those Jewish groups opposed to the use of intercessors is usually softer in regard to beseeching the Almighty alone merely in the merit of a Zadok. Those Jews who support the use of intercessors claim that their beseeching of the Zadok is not prayer or worship. The conflict between the groups is essentially over what constitutes prayer, worship, a mediator and an agent Islam <inaudible> 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 Tawassal is the practice of using someone as a means or an intermediary in a supplication directed towards God. An example of this would be such, "'O oh my Lord, help me with such and such need due to the love I have for your Prophet." Some Shia practice seeking intercession from saints, in particular from Muhammad's son-in-law, Ali and Ali's son, Husayn. A well-known Persian Shia hymn reads, "'Z bandegi ye Ali na ajab bashar bi koda rasad. It is not strange that man, through servitude to Ali, will reach God." Surah religion In the religion of the Surah people of Senegal, the Gambia and Mauritania, some of their ancient dead are canonized as holy saints, called Pangul in the Surah language. These ancient ancestors act as interceders between the living world and their supreme deity Rug. See also Efficacy of prayer Intercession of Christ Intercession of the Spirit Intercession of the Theotokos Patron Saint Shrine Slava Veneration References External links Church Fathers on the Intercession of the Saints Marian Prayers and Prayers of the Saints Marian Novenas and Novenas to Saints Index and Calendar of Saints Saladal Istiska, Islamic Prayer for Rain Ceremony The performance of the Saladal Istiska, the Islamic Prayer for Rain, in the parched bed of the Goulburn River in Denman, in the Hunter Valley, Sydney, Australia, 2003. Hadith proofs for Tawassal through the Prophet